Turn with me to 2 Corinthians 2, verse number 11. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Amen. I believe, amen, that this is, you know, it's a little different one in our preaching on the attitude towards things. Amen. But, amen, I'll talk to you. I guess some of kind of preach to you about our attitude towards the enemy. Amen. Amen. And so, amen. And, uh, so, if you have, if you can, turn your Bibles to 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Amen. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Amen. Then we'll go to, uh, then we'll go to 2 Corinthians 11 14. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Then a Second Corinthians eleven, chapter uh, chapter eleven, verse number fourteen. Amen. Amen. Well, in Second uh, Corinthians two and eleven, the less Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Amen. If you and then if you would turn with me to chapter eleven, verse number fourteen. It says in chapter eleven, verse number fourteen. Amen. It says, "It says, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light." If you would just pray with me, Lord, I thank you for bringing us here. Lord, I ask you to anoint my lips of clay, Lord. For without your anointing, I can do nothing, God. But thy, by that anointing, we know all things are possible, God. We ask you to speak by your power this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You can be seated this morning. Amen. I'm going to talk to you today. Amen. As I said, I'm, I guess, amen. Just something the Lord laid on my heart a little while back. Never really uh, did nothing with it. Amen. And just uh, just started thinking about it. Amen. As we was preaching on our attitudes towards things. Amen. And it's, it goes it could go towards our attitude towards the enemy or our attitude towards Satan. Amen. Amen. I'm going to preach to you today on uh, don't be ignorant. Amen. We must not be ignorant. I read to you in uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. We must not be ignorant of what the Satan is trying to do to us. Amen. A lot of times we know we there's things that happens. Amen. If we don't look at it correctly, we're ignorant to what Satan's trying to do to us. Amen. We're ignorant to how Satan's trying to sift us as weak. Amen. That's what uh, uh, Jesus told Peter. Amen. The devil desires to sift you as weak, but I'll pray for you. I'm going to tell you that's the devil's desire. First of all, the devil. What is the enemy's goal? The enemy's goal is found in John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. But we do know the thief's goal is to destroy our lives. To steal from us, to kill us, and to destroy us. That is the enemy's goal and I to do in our lives. Amen. The enemy wants to destroy each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. I preached about it before, but the enemy desires to destroy Pentecostal Lighthouse. Amen. Each and every one of you when the, die, the enemy desires to destroy. Amen. I do believe, amen, the Lord has done great things in Pentecostal Lighthouse. But the enemy would love to destroy what the Lord's done in this church. He would love to destroy, amen, what we've taught theologically all this time, what my dad taught theologically, amen, what the Lord has led to me to teach, amen, according to His Word, theologically, the devil would love to destroy what we have in this church. Amen. The Lord, the Lord, the devil would love to make uh, make an example, amen, and a reproach of us, amen, after preaching on the streets, amen, going out on the street corner and preach. Amen. The Lord, devil would love to do that. First of all, his, uh, his goal is to destroy us. Amen. He wants to destroy us in everything that we do. Amen. And if we are ignorant to what he's trying to do, amen, we'll let him destroy us. We must not be ignorant. Our attitude with the enemy must not be an attitude of ignorance. We must recognize what the devil's trying to do to us. Amen. Where I read to you, amen, in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get advantage of us. 
Amen. I'm going to tell you, Satan is trying to get an advantage on us. Amen. He's trying to get an advantage. Amen. He looks at this church and he pokes and prods different things. He tries his best to start up little things. He tries to destroy this church. Amen. He tries to get our attitude and an attitude of ignorance what he's trying to do. Amen. And sometimes, sometimes we have fell for it. I'm going to tell you, we must beware of falling for what the devil is trying to get an advantage on us. The devil wants to get an advantage on us. Amen. Lest uh, Satan should get an advantage. Amen. He's, he's looking to get an advantage of us. He's looking for something to come into your life. Amen. If you'll let him take a stronghold in one little place of our life, if we'll let him take a stronghold in this church, he will. But is he going to start with that stronghold? No. He's going to start with one little thought. Amen. He's going to start with one little thing that he knows that he knows that you do not like. That's right. Amen. He's going to say, that preacher was picking on you. Amen. He's going to say, that person was looking at you funny sitting on that pew. That person doesn't like you. Amen. He's going to start with a lot of different things. He's trying to get an advantage on us. Amen. That's the enemy's goal. To steal, to kill, and destroy. And how he's going to do that? He's going to get an advantage on us. Amen. Is it amen? Let Satan get an advantage on us. Amen. We would not let Satan get an advantage on us. Amen. But we must not be ignorant of the attack of the enemy. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of ignorance. Amen. The church should never be ignorant. Amen. The reason, one reason the church should never be ignorant because what's found in this Word. The Bible does clearly tell us what the enemy's going to do to try to destroy us. Amen. The Holy Ghost leads us according to the Scripture what the enemy's trying to do to destroy us. Amen. The death. Amen. It's nothing new that the devil's doing. He's been doing this for 6,000 years. Amen. Amen. Since the beginning of creation, he's been trying to destroy. Amen. Trying to get revenge. Amen. What did he do to Eve? Amen. He come told Eve. And, 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 and Adam, amen. Eve told Adam. Amen. Amen. That, well, you should be as little, you're going to be as little gods. Amen. You won't surely die. What was he trying to do? He was trying to get them ignorant that he may get an advantage on them. We must not be ignorant of the attack of the enemy. Our attitude must not be an attitude of ignorance, but it must be an attitude of trust in God. Amen. That we will overcome the enemy. As I told you a while ago, we don't have to be moved. Amen. Pentecostal Lighthouse does not have to be moved. Amen. We can stand firm in the truth of God's Word. Amen. Us as, pe- us, us as a people of God can stay firm in the, the- uh, in the theologically, amen, and sound, faithful in Him and our walk with Him. Amen. But, amen, if we're not careful, the devil's going to come and take an, uh, get an advantage on us. Amen. And completely destroy us. Amen. That's his goal. Amen. But if we're ignorant of his devices, amen, he, eventually he'll destroy us. First of all, we must not be ignorant of deception. Amen. Deception is a very, very real thing. Amen. That happens to people all the time. Amen. I'm going to tell you, many people are deceived by such foolishness. Amen. I was looking on Facebook just last night, I think it was, or this morning. Amen. I just looked at it for a moment. Amen. I see somebody post a thing they wasn't in agreement on it. Somebody actually that, amen, I always agree with pretty much. Amen. Shares good things. Shares my dad's stuff very much. Amen. But she shares something in disagreement to it. Amen. About how hell. Amen. You know, people say, this group saying hell not real. It's misquotations. Amen. Every time it's says hell. In the Bible they say, I'm going to tell you that is deception and it's creeping in. I'm going to tell you people's being deceived by Calvinism and Anomianism. I'm going to tell you and we must beware of being deceived by this. Amen. Anonomism would love to creep into this church. I believe this church is very sound theologically. Amen. We do believe in living free from sin. Why? Because the Bible says it. Amen. But anonomism would love to creep into this church. The devil would love to get an advantage on us by creeping in. Amen. It's fallen on what we believe according to the Scriptures. Amen. It really doesn't matter what we believe. We know that. Amen. But what the Scripture says. Amen. And what we believe. 
believe on the Scriptures. The devil would love to creep in. Amen. And put a stronghold in by, by putting a little thought in. And then eventually getting to that place. Amen. Where we're completely deceived. Amen. Don't be deceived. Amen. Amen. We must not be deceived by this. The Bible says my people perish from a lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. Amen. There they become ignorant because they want to be ignorant. Amen. Everybody's deceived really because they want to be deceived. Yeah. Amen. The devil brings deception in because they tried their best. Amen. I talked about it last Sunday. Amen. Both messages. But they tried their best to find a loophole to get around what the Scripture says. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you'll try to find a loophole, amen, the devil's going to give you something to try to make it look like a loophole. We know there is no loopholes in the Scriptures. What the Scripture says is what they mean. But the devil's going to give you something that appears to be a loophole. But I'm going to tell you, we must be not be ignorant of deception. Amen. Deception wants to creep into this church. Amen. We must beware of letting deception creep into us. Amen. I don't want the devil to get an advantage on me. Amen. So I'm going to stay in this word that I not be deceived. We've heard it many times about amen, how they trade to people with counterfeit money. They don't put counterfeit money in their hands. They put real money in their hands. How are we going to keep from being deceived if we'll just stay in this book right here? If we'll stay in this King James Bible and we'll stick with the King James Bible, we're not going to be deceived. I'm going to tell you, when we'll get to something else, we'll eventually become the seed. Amen. 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 I was looking at something just here a while back, and several of us was. Amen. We was ahead to Brother Brits. Oh. Amen. Amen. Before that, I, me and Brother Donovan was looking at it, but I was looking at the message Bible. Amen. And I told them, I said, I want to tell them on campuses from now on, when they start talking about these other Bible versions, the reason things, the message Bible comes is because people believe in no perfect Bible. The reason such deceptions as the wickedness and the disgust message Bible comes is because somebody did not believe in a perfect Bible. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm not going to be deceived no. by what people says right. that I don't have a perfect Bible. I'm going to live on the truth of this gospel. Yeah. We must not be ignorant of the devil's devices. We are not ignorant, it says. Amen. We are really, there's no room for ignorance. Amen. But we let ourselves get deceived. Amen. Amen. We must be aware of that. We must be aware and we must not, we must not be ignorant of the devil, of the devil's devices. Amen. Of disunity. Amen. I'm going to tell you. Amen. I preach about it. I preach about it very often. But if the devil can divide this church, Amen. He would. He uh, that that's his goal is to divide this church so he can destroy this church. Amen. If he can divide us as a church, Amen, and get us uh, disunified, Amen. We're no longer unified, Amen. God always used a unified church in His Word, Amen. You'll read the Book of Acts. What unity was in the believers of the Book of Acts, Amen. I know that we have to come out from among the wicked and be separate, but us that believe the according to the Scriptures must be unified according to the scriptures. Amen. 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 We must be aware of letting bitterness come. Amen. The devil, amen, we must not be ignorant of the devil trying to bring bitterness in our life. Amen. God will never tell you Amen. To be bitter with somebody. God's never going to, God will never tell you not, not to forgive somebody. Amen. Why? Because His Word says forgive and ye shall be forgiven. Amen. He's not going to tell you any different than it is His Word. The devil's going to tell you every time. It's the devil's device. Amen. And a lot of times we have failed. Men, many men have failed. Amen. Amen. And been, because they was ignorant to the devil's right. devices. They have become bitter against somebody in the church. And then a will ain't long. They become bitter against everybody else. And then They'll come bitter against God. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because they are ignorant of what the devil's trying to do yeah, in their life. Exactly right. Amen. Anger. I'm going to tell you. Amen. Not just in disunity, but in disunity. Amen. Anger will get the best of us. The devil wants to destroy us by our temper. Amen. We must be aware of letting God. And the devil may deceive us. Amen. Of being ignorant to the devil deceiving us. Amen. Is God ever going to lead us to be unrighteously angered? 
No. The Bible does say be angry and sin not. Does that mean be angry because somebody hurt your feelings? No. Amen. That means be angry with someone with the devil. Amen. And anything that is violation to the Scriptures. I'm angry with sin. I hate sin. But I'm going to tell you, I'm not, I must never be angry with my brethren That's without good. a cause. Amen. Sure, I'm angry with what the devil's doing. Amen to people. Amen. I'm angry about wickedness. Amen. Amen. And I will rebuke it. But I'm going to tell you, anger, we must never let anger come in without a true cause scripturally. Amen. It's not, there's never a cause to be angry just to be angry. Amen. God's not going to tell us to be angry. Amen. And be angry. We're, we're, we'll turn bitter. Amen. God's going to cause us to be angry with sin, to stand against sin. Amen. And try to reconcile. The Bible says He's given us the the, the scripture, uh, the, the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. He's not given us the ministry. We're not come, amen, to destroy somebody. We're come to reconcile somebody to God. Amen. That's what our goal should be. Amen. I'm angry with sin and I'm preaching on a college campus. But my desire is not to see somebody burn in hell. But my desire is to see them reconciled unto God. Amen. My desire is not to see anybody, even troublemakers in the church, go to hell. Amen. It is to see them reconciled unto God. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 I do believe sometimes you had to mark them to cause division. Amen. Amen. But amen, you better be careful, very careful to say such things. Amen. And I do believe that's to afford the leadership of the church. Amen. That's what the scripture teaches. Amen. The leadership of the church. So we must beware of becoming bitter. God's never going to tell us to become anger where it leads to bitterness. Amen. Don't be ignorant of the excuses for unfaithfulness. Amen. We must never be ignorant. Amen. God's never going to give you an excuse to be unfaithful. Amen. Don't be ignorant. It is an attack of the enemy. Amen. Amen. It is an attack from Satan that we have excuses to be unfaithful. God's never going to tell you you're too tired to pray. You don't have to pray. Amen. God's never going to tell you that you don't have to come to church every time that the doors are open. Amen. Don't be ignorant. This is an excuse yeah. of the devil. Amen. I do know the Bible says the ox is in the ditch. Amen. You have to get it out sometimes. Amen. But my dad's always said, amen, what a wonderful saying. I do believe it would be a teaching according to the scriptures. Amen. Well, if your ox is always in the ditch, either kill, kill the ox. Ox are filling the ditch. Amen. I'm going to tell you, our ox should not always be in the ditch. Yeah. Amen. Don't be, uh, don't be ignorant is all I'm trying to tell you. Don't be ignorant of that attack of the enemy. The enemy would love to tell you, well, you don't have to be faithful. Amen. Amen. And say, well, amen. This, uh, God understands this. No, God doesn't understand unfaithfulness and the prayer of the reading His Word. Amen. Of coming to church. Amen. Of giving of your tithes. God doesn't understand that. Amen. God expects us to be faithful. But the devil's going to come tell you that you can't afford to pay your tithes. You can't, you can't come to church every time the doors are open because you're so busy. Amen. If you're too busy to come to church, you're too busy. Amen. If you're too busy to pray, you're entirely too busy. Find a way to find, find a way to make time for prayer. Right. Amen. And I've never seen anybody that was too busy to, uh, to pray. Amen. Right. Amen. And amen. I've seen people that, amen, that, that amen, they, they make themselves too busy to go to church. Amen. I do, as I said, I understand there's times, amen, where things come up. Amen. I understand that everybody can't make it. Uh, amen. Sometimes you have to work occasionally. But I'm going to tell you that you should not ever let excuses come in for your unfaithfulness. Don't be ignorant. This is not of God. This is of Satan. Amen. We must know. We must be. Uh, we must not be ignorant of. Amen. I don't have it in my notes, but I'm going to tell you, pride. Amen. God's never going to allow us to be prideful and to think highly of ourselves. Amen. Amen. It's just something the Lord, I believe the Lord put in my heart. Amen. I'll put it in my notes later. But amen. We must beware of letting pride. 
pride come in. I'm going to tell you, pride never comes from God. Oh, amen. God's always going to lead, and the Holy Ghost will always lead you, but He won't even speak of Himself. The Holy Ghost won't even speak of Himself. So the Holy Ghost is always going to lead you to glory unto Jesus. It's not glory unto self. Amen. We must beware. Amen. And not be ignorant of the pride, of letting the devil bring pride into our lives. Amen. We, are, we must not be ignorant of what the devil's trying to do. Amen. And the last thing is, amen, we must not be ignorant of the, de- of the devil putting doubts in our mind. Amen. I'm going to tell you, the enemy's going to try to come in and put oh. doubts in your mind. Oh. Amen. Amen. As I talk about this unity, he's going to try to come in and put doubts on your mind about your brethren. Amen. He's going to, amen, definitely he's going to try to put doubts in your mind about God. Amen. Amen. I do know, I do know the devil knows he can't. He don't mean he wouldn't ever try, but amen, he knows uh, he can't get put doubts in my mind that there is a God. But he's going to try to put doubts in my mind of other things. Amen. I don't believe, amen, I don't believe you're, uh, anybody here is he going to let the devil put doubts in your mind of uh, become a resistance of God. Amen. But I do believe he'll try to put doubts in your mind. Amen. And he could deceive us if we're not careful. Of, uh, amen. Of, uh, that God is able to do what he said he would do. Yes. That God's word is what it means, what it says it means, if we're not careful. Amen. If we're not careful. Amen. And, we're, and we let ignorance, uh, we, we get ignorant of what the devil's trying to do. Amen. We'll let doubts come in our mind. Amen. And there's many people that was once truly on fire for God. And living for Jesus, that are, that are sitting in the church pew right now, but backslid, believing a lie, and the Bible says they'll be damned. Amen. Because they let doubts come into their mind. Amen. That's why we should be careful what we listen to. I'm going to tell you. I used to turn on Christian radio on the on the radio a little bit. Amen. But I'm sorry, I'll stop turning that on. Why? Because there's nothing but garbage on that radio. Yeah. Amen. I turned on Ed Young one time. Amen. And he was, amen, amen, borderline blaspheming the Holy Ghost by t- saying, amen, making fun of people speaking in tongues. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to I'm not going to have that. I'm not going to listen to that. I don't need to listen to that garbage. And I turned on Jimmy Swagger one time. Amen. Making fun of people living a holy life. Amen. I'm not going to listen to that. Amen. I don't want any doubts to come in my mind. Amen. We must not be ignorant of what the enemy's trying to do. Amen. Amen. I, I love watching YouTube videos. I like watching debates. Amen. I love to learn. Amen. But amen, there has been times where the Holy Ghost tells me, turn that off. You have no business listening to that. Amen. I'll try to, I'll amen. I turn that off and don't listen to it. Why? Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be ignorant of what the enemy's trying to do to destroy me. Amen. We must be aware of this, that the enemy wants to destroy us. Amen. Beware that we not be ignorant Amen. Of what the devil would do to destroy our church. Amen. Uh, our own lives. Amen. The devil wants to destroy us. The devil wants to always make my dad preach on green pastures, talk about a gray grass is not always greener. He wants to make it always look his better. But don't be ignorant. It's a trap of the devil where he will destroy your life. Amen. And he eventually try to destroy this church. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I don't want to be ignorant of what the enemy's trying to do to us. Amen. I want to stay faithful unto God. Amen. Stay faithful unto my walk with Jesus. Amen. Where I not be uh, be trapped, but I stay in this Word. If you want to know how not to be deceived and not to be ignorant, stay in this Word and stay on your knees. Amen. Amen. And stay faithful to the house of God. Amen. If we'll stay faithful to prayer, reading of His Word and faithful to His house where the truth is being preached. Amen. Amen. And stay busy for Him. Amen. We will not be deceived by this. If we'll keep the truth in us, amen, and buy the truth and sell it not, amen, will there be no room for deception in us? Let's stand to our feet.